Hey, so hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Alyssa. my best friend, Alyssa. And since she's here, can you guess what uh, video we're going to do? Best friend tag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wanted to do this video for so long, but my best friend didn't live in my state, which is a crime. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, to be fair, I moved first. It's all your fault. Hey! you could, When you moved, you could have moved here. So, it's your fault. No. Your fault. No. Your fault. No! Yeah. <gasps> what? I hated Florida. What did you want me to do? Suffer? Only for you to move, like, a month later? And then lose my best friend and be in a state I didn't like? You moved earlier than that. I moved after your mom did. You sure about that? Yeah. Oh. Well, then I would have... Look, uh, Mom moved to Illinois a year after I did. Yeah, so it's been three years. Wow. That's a crime. <laughs> it is. Okay, there's 25 questions, and they're just about, um, they're just about um, our friendship, I guess. So, let's see what the questions are. So, question number one is, how and when did we meet? We met, what, a Middle little school? seven years ago? Yeah, seven years ago. We met on the bus for middle school. Yeah. Uh, we didn't really become friends until the summer before high school, though. I mean, she was in 8th grade, I was in 7th, but then the next year I skipped 8th grade, technically. I mean, I, I didn't really skip it. I did 8th grade online when I was in 7th grade, because I was technically in a grade behind what I should have been in, because I was held back. So they had that whole program. Yeah. So I could go to the grade I was supposed to be and graduate the year I was supposed to. Um... So, but in a way, I skipped eighth grade. In a way, I didn't. <laughs> but yeah. So, uh, and funny enough, that was my best year at school ever. That's funny, right? <laughs> school sucks. Let's be real. Math sucks. Math is evil. Oh my god. Math is evil. We have, are in agreement on that. <laughs> but um, horrible. it was on the bus. Yeah, it was on the bus. Because uh, our trailer parks were right next to each other. Yeah, and I'm the one that talked to her first. Yeah, surprising enough. <laughs> ah, good times. Didn't you actually technically start talking to my sister first? Well, I talked to your sister first, but you were sitting by yourself, and I'm like, can I sit next to you? Yeah. And then we started talking. Yeah, and um, and then we talked more and more until the summer before ninth grade, and we started hanging out every day, going to each other's houses, trailer parks, whatever. Going to Barnes and Noble. Oh my god. <laughs> we lived so close to Barnes and Noble. We would always meet outside of our trailer parks and just walk there. It was like five minutes away. Or when my mom used to take us to the libraries. Or that, yes. It was, oh my gosh, we had so many memories in those trailer parks. We would always go to each other's houses and just hang out. And we knew each other's families long before our families finally met. Yeah, my mom didn't meet your mom till like three, four years ago. Yeah, so... Wow. We knew each other's families. <laughs> I've met your mom, like, right away, though. Yeah. I think I met your parents shortly after, though. Or your mom. Not your you dad, met, obviously. You met my mom first. Oh, I did? Yeah, you it's met... It's been so long ago. You met my mom first, because she was at the bus stop with me one day. Uh. Yeah. So, yeah. That was so long ago. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I feel old. Same. And because... Because of the fact that I was actually in a grade young, younger than I was was supposed to be when we actually met. She was one of the first friends I met that was actually older than me. Because my entire life, I was held back in second grade. My entire life, I was always the oldest by a year at least. Because of the fact that I was in a younger grade. So I was always a year older than all my friends. And all of a sudden, I, do, I meet Alyssa and then I do that whole program. And I end up in my current grade. And now, I'm pretty sure I'm the youngest out of all my friends. Which is funny how I went from the oldest to the youngest. Uh, I'm younger than you. I'm younger than Caitlin because she graduated a year before. No, that's wrong, wrong, wrong. I have a friend that's younger than me by a year because I met her. She was actually my first Florida friend. I met her at Oak Grove before I went to Charleston High. Okay, or yeah, that's Charleston. Right. What? Clearwater High. That's why. Uh, and um, but uh, she was in her normal grade, so she stayed in her normal. So she sees, and I actually lost touch with her for a while until tenth grade. She ended up going to my high school. But yeah, so uh, I'm 
almost the youngest out of all my friends. She's the only one younger than me now, I'm pretty sure. You're the second. No, third youngest out of all my friends. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Allison is the first. Uh, and then Mercedes, and then you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, number two is favorite memory together. Halloween. When I did your Halloween makeup. For the Queen of Hearts? Yeah. Oh. That's my favorite memory. That picture is up on my Instagram still. Really? I still have it somewhere on my phone. I know, or on this phone at least. I know I do. Um, that was fun. I had the most elaborate costume and everyone at the Halloween party were saying how, it was like a, not a big Halloween party, it was just a small get together with some friends, but they were saying how awesome my costume was. She, I, I was the Queen of Hearts. Um, I had this costume and uh, red hair, a temporary Halloween red hair dye. And, um, uh, but I wanted to do a twist kind of similar to what Glam and Gore did, um, with those twisted princesses where she, like, Cinderella with a glass eye, Belle, that's had her skin all burned, but with a Disney villain, Queen of Hearts, where she got cut cards stuck into her skin, and with blood out and stuff, and, um, it was such a cool concept, and she did beautifully on my artwork. Thank you, I'm trying to find it right now. Wait, I think I just saw it, didn't I? Yes. Yeah. Trying to, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. And and that card hat. I totally forgot about that card crown. I did. Yeah. I had to glue all those cards together. Well, I did because I had I did it with latex. Right, right. And yeah, that was a fun day. But I have so many fun memories. Like when we used to go to the mall. Oh my god. I saw some pictures of us at the mall when we were really young. We would have been like 14, 15. Probably 15. Probably. And uh, going to Barnes & Noble, obviously, the library. Oh, or a third Friday at Safety Harbor. Right. We. Oh, my gosh. There's just so many memories between us. Like, we've been friends. And they say that a friendship that lasts seven years is a friendship that lasts a lifetime. So, you're never getting rid of me. No. Never. <laughs> never. never. <laughs> oh my. You better not steal her. <laughs> She just claimed me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, number three is describe each other in one word. Bright. Bright as in smart or bright as in a bright light? Both. But I'm not smart. I'm going to smack you. There's no abuse. We do not abuse each other. First lie of the day. <laughs> okay. We always smack each other if we talk crap about each other. That's mm-hmm. the only thing. Um, <laughs> but that was funny. Uh, uh, so one word to describe you. Uh oh. <laughs> You're scared. Uh, fierce. Okay, I can live with that. <laughs> okay. You're just bright. Four is favorite kind of book. Like genre or? That's what it sounds like. Fantasy romance. Fantasy. So we're both into the fantasy drama. I just, she's heavy on the romance. I'm light on the romance. It's weird. <laughs> but fantasy is my thing. It's basically 95% of what I read of. Same here. I read, uh, I read a lot more fantasy than I do romance nowadays, but I still love fantasy romance. Nice. Um, number five is, if you could go anywhere in the world together, where would you go? Well, I've said before, I'm not sure if I said it on one of my channels, but I've told someone before that the only place I really care about going is Athens, Greece. Just because I think it'll be all cool with the mythology stuff. Well, that's Same outside one. of... Yeah, I was about to say, that's outside of the U.S. The one place I would actually want to go, which I do plan on going soon-ish, um, is uh, Salem, Massachusetts, uh, during um, Halloween. Mom and I plan on a trip next year for Halloween. Maybe you could get another visit and come with us. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Uh, that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Number six, favorite inside joke. Supernatural. Bitch. <gasps> Jerk. <laughs> That's our thing. We stole it from Supernatural, but we do that all the time. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it just works because I cause she doesn't. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. I'm sure we have more, but that's the first thing that always comes to my that, mind. That always pops in my head. Yeah, same. Uh, but we have we've been t- we've been friends for so long. We probably have more. Yeah, but the one thing that usually sticks is the bitch jerk. Thing. Yeah, we say that whenever the opportunity strikes. Even on the phone, I'm like, bye, bitch, and you're like, bye, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Our friendship is weird. Don't judge us. Seven. Something that annoys you about the other. How picky you are with the food. How negative you are. Ouch. <laughs> A big one! <laughs> My feelings! <laughs> Wait, what feelings? I will push you off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I have one of my feet down. I would have lost a shack to my top leaf. I'll get you back <laughs> when you least expect it. I th- oh my gosh. Mwah. <laughs> Good thing is I'm always the way. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No one can scare me. Everyone tries. They always fail. I scared you a couple times. Number eight. Right, yeah. Who takes the longest to get ready, Alyssa? No, I don't. Yes, you do. I take like five minutes. I just brush out my hair or do a quick something with it and then put on my clothes and I'm good. I don't wear makeup except for once in blue moon I wear neck, uh, uh, lipstick. And then I do want to start wearing my jewelry more often again, but I just grab one and go, so. I don't take that long. I'm faster than Dixon and his sister <laughs> all i gotta do is put on socks and shoes put my hair up in a messy bun and i'm good yeah so apparently you both get ready pretty easily i'm just a little bit slow today because i'm sore <laughs> i know my mom and i make fun with, we're, when we were talking about that and one of us like get ready and the other's like uh at least we i don't take as long as uh fantasia she takes she takes like three hour showers and then uh, three hours to find out the outfit, find out, uh, put on all her makeup, and yeah. I might be exaggerating just a tad, but she does take forever. <laughs> um, nine. All-time favorite book. Well, if you're on my channel, then you should know by now what my all-time favorite book is, because I mention it maybe a little too much. But there's no such thing, so I don't. <laughs> I don't Seekers. have an all-time favorite. I do like... I thought, uh, that crap. I House of Night yes. series? I thought that was your favorite. It was for a while, but then this manga took over. And now I can't remember the manga's name, so I'm just like, oh, <laughs> never mind. Mine is obviously Seekers by Aaron Hunter, which is funny since I read 95% fantasy and it's not a fantasy, but I'm just obsessed. It's a little bit fantasy-ish. No. No? No. No? No. You sure? Yes, I've read it constantly since fourth grade when I discovered it. It's about bears, right? Yeah, but it's but it's like, it's in their perspective, so it's not like they can actually magically talk. Flat faces, what they call humans, don't understand bears. This is just their, them talking oh, their language. Okay. Just like bears can't understand flat faces. Okay, now I kind of get it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, ten. Favorite season? Winter. Fall. <laughs> ha- Halloween. Halloween, yes. And it's cooler in fall. Yeah. Fall and winter are the best. Yeah, I like fall. If I like fall a lot more than, like, summer, but I do like winter because of snow. Yeah. <laughs> Which, she saw snow for the first time when she moved to Montana because she grew up in Florida. Yes. And she did and she did go to Texas for a little while, but it's not like snow's there either. Um she was it's there for like, a year. like the upper part of Texas. But not where I went and visited. Yeah, so um yeah, but until she um uh, went to Texas she never uh left Florida and then um she moved out of Florida, which was a big step for her. Mm-hmm. But of course Florida isn't where I was born or raised. 
so it was not nothing to move back to my hometown because I'm in my hometown. I don't know if you knew that, Charleston. Yeah, I knew okay. that was your hometown. I mean, I didn't move right back to Charleston because at first I went to live with my dad, who lived at uh, Gibson City at the time. Um, but then my mom, when my mom told me she was looking at houses at Charleston and Mattoon, I was like, Charleston, move back to Charleston. I want to live back in my hometown. And when she was taking me to, uh, the place to meet up with the landlord for this house and look at it and see if we wanted it, um, uh, I was looking at, around out the windows. I was like, oh my gosh, I remember this. I remember that. It was like all these memories just flooding back from where I grew up. I was like, oh my gosh. That's funny. Like, this big church thing. I was like, oh my gosh, I remember that. At the square, I remember it. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Number 11. What is it like to be friends with someone who's obsessed with books? Awesome. Because <laughs> we get, since we're both writers, we get to help each other come up with ideas. And or word to get unstuck from where we yeah. were stuck from. So it's great. And then we can talk about different kind of books that we like. Yeah, which is also nice. Recommend books to each other and yeah. so forth. It's which nice. I plan on reading House of Nights one of these days. It's on my TBR. I'll get to it eventually. They just came up with another like really? couple book series to it. I, I didn't know they were still making them. Yeah. She's finally said that while she's here, she's going to be here for a couple months, that she will finally read Seekers. I'm so happy. Yeah. I'm bringing everyone to my Seekers cult. <laughs> oh god yeah uh robin and a few other people were talking about writing and writers and and um because robin and i were telling our newest writer slash book friend uh claire about uh our discord server inviting her and we were like this is just our writer's cult and we're trying to drag everyone into it <laughs> that's funny <laughs> Number, what number am I on? Twelve. Favorite animal? Bears. That's easy. Just foxes. look over there. Just look over there. I like foxes, wolves, and cats. Those are the three I figured. I figured it would be one of the three. Mm. I actually figured wolves and cats a little bit more than foxes. I didn't realize you had got grown accustomed to them. Uh, I did. Ah. Yeah. Uh, number thirteen. Favorite kind of movie? fantasy comedy <laughs> i mean with tv i actually branch out a little more in genreized than i do in um books books i'm pretty much only fantasy except for like aaron hunter <laughs> and there are a few other books i do want to try that's outside of fantasy a little bit like riverdale there's a book version and i want to try but that's mystery but i already know i like the show then there's also a horror book i want to try and a mystery duology i want to try but other than that i read pretty much only fantasy mm -hmm. and um but with tv i do branch out a little bit more i like a little of every genre except for romance and erotica is erotica part of romance it's more it's what i like to call the spicy version of romance oh, okay well, um, that's still that's still the one to whatever genres I I guess maybe there are subgenres because with erotica there has to be romance right so it's like a subgenre yeah okay. that that and uh smut well those are the two I can't handle can't stand especially erotica that one just no but romance I'm not a fan of either it's just I can't handle just there needs to be more of a plot for me to get into it than just when are these two couples going to get together? Like, what? No. I need more than that. But uh, I respect anyone who likes romance. I just need more than that for myself. Um, but uh, fantasy will still be my favorite, even if I do re watch comedy and um, action. I love action. That's probably second. Um, Mystery is probably third. Horror, obviously, that's up there, too. Oh, my God. We need to have a scary movie marathon. Yes, I own some. I own Truth or Dare. Oh, the first one? There's only one. This is the, not there. I think there's a future that Jay movies, but this one has Lucy Hale in it, so it's a different one. But it's really no, there, good. there's another one called Truth or Dare, and it doesn't have uh, her. Yeah, because I think there's a few different movies called Truth or Dare. Yeah. This, the one I own is Lucy Hale because I love her, and the movie is so good. She's then, your future wifey. Yes, uh, I also own the first Quiet Place. I haven't seen the second one yet. I own Ouija, not the prequel, just the original. 
I own Hazel Grail, Witch Hunters. That's a really good one. It's so underrated. I've seen that on Hulu. Really? I was watching it uh, a couple days before I came here. Really? I absolutely love that one. I own the first two Conjuring movies. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if I own more, but I own those ones. Well, there's always some of those scary movies on Hulu and Netflix True. as well. I want the Nightmare on Elm Street movies and Scream movies, because those are, were my first horror movies, and I absolutely love them. Okay, moving on. What are we on now? 14. Android or iPhone? Android. I hate iPhones. Android. I hate iPhones. <laughs> Yay, their, someone else! Their screens crack so fast. Yeah, Fantasia had like three iPhones. Well, she had the same iPhone. She just had to get the screen fixed like three times, because she kept letting kal get near it and break it. That was when he was like really young, like a baby. Um, or not really a baby, but like a toddler. And, um, so she, eventually she, I don't know if she has a new iPhone now, but I know she got tired of it and gave up on iPhones for at least a little while. Um, 15, do you have anything matching? We have a ne- matching necklaces and bracelets. Yeah. We would always buy friendship things for the other one, and yeah, so we have that. I think that's about it, right? Bookmarks. Bookmarks. Yeah, I've, uh, I've made us matching in bookmarks. Oh, before. I didn't know you made them for them. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. And we would also wear, um, what was it? Uh, ah, God. Hmm, can't remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, 16. Yeah, that's what I'm on. Favorite TV show? At the moment, Criminal Minds. Uh, you asked me what my favorite movie is, I can tell you that. Harry Potter. Good job. That was a test. A test of true friendship. <laughs> but favorite TV show, that's harder. I mean, I'm more into TV shows, so there's a, more, a lot more I like. Uh, but I guess I'll answer with two, the first two really adult TV shows I got to when I was really young. And that would be Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Charm, which still remains to be two of my favorites. But I also love Pretty Little Liars, Supernatural, The Vampire Diaries, Riverdale, Criminal Minds. Hers just goes I on zombie. and on and on. I just like so many. How that, can you make me that, choose? That's okay. <sighs> that's why I said Criminal Minds is my favorite at the moment. Yeah, some people do that too. It's like it, their, their favorite difference. But for me, I rewatch constantly. So, like right now, I'm rewatching Riverdale. And well, this is like maybe my fourth, fifth time rewatching Criminal Minds. I rewatched Criminal Minds not that long ago. Fantasia still has my season 13 and 14. I, I, I bought season 13 and 14 because they didn't have um, it on Netflix and it was before they put it on Hulu. And that was also before season 15 came out. And, um, so I lent them to her, and she still has them. Well, she's coming here soon. Yeah. I hope she remembers to bring them. I don't even know if she remembers she you has You better text them. her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. 17. 17. If your house is rainy and your family were safe, what would you save? Like, what's the first thing you would grab? My books. Um. Well, my phone. But that's usually on me. Like, I I'll obviously have my purse with me. But then I'll grab as many books as I could. My favorites. I'm grabbing t- 12 secret books, apparently. Because those are probably all I can carry. <laughs> I guess my books and my computer. Oh, my laptop, too. Because that's where all my writing is. And that's more important than anything. I can rebuy my books. I can't rebuy books that I haven't published yet. <laughs> Sorry, Seekers. My heart broke a little. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> I felt it, and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> See, true friendship right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're on 18. Favorite food. Well, my favorite snacky food is this. You've seen them on my writing blogs, because this is what I snack with. Southern Heat barbecue chips. My favorite non-snacky food would be probably barbecue weenies. I, I don't eat them that often because they take like all day to make but i absolutely love them and i want to make some now i have some i bought them at the store last time i went and now i want them um, <laughs> tomorrow because it's too late to make them now i don't have a favorite like food food but i do have a favorite snack brownies hmm. my favorite fruit is strawberries 
Same. I want strawberries. Now I, which I also have. <laughs> I like. I also like peaches and pears. I don't like those. My son hates them. <laughs> I'm like, good you're boy. not my child. Go away. <laughs> Rude. Just kidding. <laughs> Nineteen. Weird nickname for each other. Other than the whole supernatural thing we do. <laughs> do we have weird nicknames? We should tell them what we have on our contacts for each other. Fairy Godmother. Oh, I forgot you changed to that. Last time I, I remembered you had it as number one girl. No, that's Fairy Godmother. <laughs> I On Messenger, I changed it to Flower Princess for you, and I never changed it back. I did that just to mess with her. <laughs> All my actual contacts, though, I have her as Bestie. I have her as Fairy Godmother. <laughs> and then... And then... Vol... My... Username, handle, whatever is soul is beauty and yours is Casper Spell. Yeah. And I helped you came up with that. Actually, that's a Monster High character. Is it? It's, she's never on the movie. She's only on the webisodes, but yeah. Oh. And she was, I think she was a witch, if I remember correctly. Sure. Mm hmm. Um, she's a singer. Well, okay. <laughs> I'll just leave it. Uh. 20. Weird habits. Her doing this in pictures. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't have a sleeve, so I can't show the entire thing. But she does that in pictures. Just the picture we took uh, this morning, right? Or it wasn't really this morning. But last night. Last night? Okay, last night. She did that. And it, it was kind of amazing to see her do that again. Because we haven't taken a picture together in probably three years. It's, it's only when I'm wearing jackets or really long sleeves. Because I'll go to like her. Why? I don't know. But it's a weird habit for us. Um, do I have any weird habits? Other than the natural like biting my nails and the skin under my nails. Which I do. Mm. Um, I know what my mom would say. Uh, I didn't realize this until she brought it up. But I'm constantly playing with my hair. Even if it's up, I will end up getting it out of whatever it's in. I have to redo it constantly because I'm just, I have this need to play with my hair and I don't know why. That is true. You do play with your hair a lot. <laughs> I never noticed that until my mom brought it up. I'm constantly just, I don't know, playing with my hair. I don't know why. That's about it. Anything else? Mm-mm. No. 21. How do you like your tea? I don't drink tea. I like my tea sweet and with lemon. I don't like tea. <laughs> uh, 22. T Twitter or Tumblr? Twitter. I don't have Tumblr and I only got Twitter recently. I actually, September was my Twitter anniversary apparently. So, yeah, I've, I fell in love with Twitter and now I'm obsessed with it. But I still have yet to use Tumblr and I don't think I ever will, but we'll see. I also once never thought, sorry, I also once never thought I used Twitter, but then I, I got curious, and yeah, all the rest is history. I don't have either. 23, cur curly or straight hair? Straight. Curly. Which is funny. I, I don't have straight hair or curly. I have wavy, as you can tell. But she has curly and one straight, and then I have wavy and one curly. It so. doesn't look curly right now, because I swear. Actually, I think I prefer, like, this, like, wavy, because... Curly might be a little too much, you know, like kal -El's hair. Oh, my God. But um, straight, definitely not. Not like Fantasia's. I love my hair like this. Wavy it is it, yes. 24, stay in or go out? Stay in. Stay in, but once in a while, go out. Just for fun, once in a while, but both of us are more homebodies, so. When we hang out. <laughs> Why'd you hide yourself? Because it's the truth. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, most of the time when we hang out, my mom would always would get annoyed because when we were visiting each other, we'd be on the couch on our, texting each other. Yeah. Did your mom complain about it, too? No, know. my mom thought it was funny. Oh, my mom thought it was weird. But, yeah, that, that's who we were, apparently. I bet you we'll do it soon. After we have enough talking to each other. <laughs> yeah. But, is it, we're like living next to each other for the time being, so we might just talk as we do. Like earlier, we were both working on a book, and we both, like, I was watching BookTube with one beat earbud in, and she was listening to music with one beat earbud in, and we kept one, so that 
if we wanted to talk to each other, you know, the other one would be able to hear us. Yeah. 25, something the other person forced you to do. I'm going to be forcing her to read Seekers, if that counts. I don't think we ever really forced each other to do anything, you know? I tried to get you to listen to K-pop. I don't like it. There's a couple new K-pop songs and that are in English. You might like these, though. That yeah, I, wanna show you. I don't know. I listen to, um, crap, what's it called? Uh, show tunes more than anything. I like show tunes. Do not judge. I am not ashamed. I'm not judging. I still like my alternative rock. My mom judges, so. I, I listen to K-pop, alternative rock, and sometimes, uh, what is it called? J-pop, which is Japanese pop. Hmm. It's like once in a blue moon. Fun. But yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah, sometimes we want each other to do something. Like, I obviously want her to read Seekers because I'm in love with it. She wants me to listen to K-pop because she's in love with it. So yeah, there's little things like that. But I don't think we actually try to force each other, heavily force each other to do something that the other doesn't want to do. I mean, she used to joke around about, on my 21st birthday, taking me to a female strip club. And on her 21st birthday, taking me to a male strip club. And both I was like, no, not going to happen. She also <laughs> wanted to take me um, to a bar, I think. Or that might have been Caitlin. I don't remember. but Because uh, I think she said, said something about it, too. I don't know if you did. but No, I said, I said that I wanted to take you to uh, my cousin's brewery in Dunedin. Mm. Um, but it obviously never happened. Well, we both moved before it happened, but still, even if it did, I, I was firm on against it. Plus, um, by the time I turned 21, like, right after I turned 21, I, uh, or around the time I turned 21, I, uh, it's when we started to discover I might be asexual as well, so I wouldn't like it anyways. Um, so yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe and comment, uh... Something, I don't know, we'll try below. Uh, comment cheese if you got to this point. <laughs> yeah, okay, why not? <laughs> and Or your favorite food. Why not? <laughs> or book. Or any of these questions. Just answer one or all of these questions and we'll chat below. And uh, Alyssa may or may not be in some more of my videos. Um, it won't be like a best friend tag like this again, probably. But um, she might just make a guest appearance because she'll be here for a few months. So, uh, I will probably also be in your reading or writing sprints as well. Right, so that'll be fun to see her and read and write with us. Um, I know we have one coming up on Tuesday. Uh, I think it's the day we're working on for the Monster High Readathon is a reading sprint. Um, but you don't have to be participating in the Monster High Readathon to join the sprint. Um, it's just for us to be productive in our readathon. Um, but you guys can read whatever you want, or you guys can write if you're a writer and need to be productive on that. I know there were times where I was on a, read a reading sprint, but was writing because that's what I needed to be productive on. Like, there's one readathon where I was in the middle of publishing my third book when we were doing it, so uh, I just ended up finished publishing it while we were on the readathon, or readathon, reading sprint. So, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you get so sidetracked <laughs> I boy, do boy, boy, boy. I always say it's the writer in me I talk about one thing and then that and then I end up talking about another thing then another thing and then the next thing cause I guess cause I get like on all these little tiny paths and the next thing I know I'm talking about I got I started talking like 10 minutes about 50 different things and I'm like what was this conversation about again at the beginning? Because I don't remember anymore. That's me. Your 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 thought process is faster than what you can actually say. True. My mind's always thinking, especially when I get excited and I start move. I start like jumping around a bit, moving with my hands even more than I already do because I kind of talk with my hands a lot. And then I get all excited, and then this big smile gets on, and then I start talking faster, because I'm a fast talker, as I kind of am right doing right now. And then I start fumbling over my words, but I don't slow down, and I just can't continue. <laughs> it's happening the, right now. The more excited she is, the faster she'll talk. <laughs> and, uh, because I just get so excited about things. I'm a very passionate person about my books, about my writing especially. 
and about things I'm just passionate about in general. I'm a very passionate person, so I will just talk and talk and talk, and then my mom has to tell me slow down, and then I do, but then I get excited again, and I speed up again, so... The, the way she's going to die is talking to, <laughs> to herself <laughs> together. I am hurt. No, you're not, because you know it's the truth. Ah! <laughs> Point two for Johara. Okay, I just need to get a double. <laughs> I'm scared. Say help. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for this video, because this video is longer than I meant for it to be. But I also didn't realize there were as many questions. I thought there were only, like, ten questions, but I was wrong. So. <laughs> Goof. Ball. <laughs> don't ask. I don't have an answer. I don't um, have an answer either. But the next ring sprint would be on uh, Claire D's channel. So please, uh... Come to that if you want to read and chat with us because last re 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 reading sprint, we only ended up sprinting twice because we got to talking a lot since we just met Claire and this was the first time seeing her face to face. -face. We just got, we had a lot to talk about. So, but this time we plan to do a little bit more reading, but still plenty of chatting. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow because that'll be my next video during this vlogging where I upload every day. So see you then.